Pathway to Peace of Min by Napoleon Hill Peace, not pressure, is the key to success. Picture this, you wake up to birds chirping, sunlight streaming through your window, and a sense of calm washing over you. Stress? Never heard of it, you'd say earnestly. This scenario sounds like an elusive fantasy, doesn't it? But what if we told you this dream could become your reality and spur lifelong abundance and success? Enter the world of a peaceful mind where serenity is no longer a luxury but an everyday necessity and companion. You don't need a magic wand or a genie in a lamp to get there. All you need is a roadmap and willingness to transform your life. So, buckle up and prepare for an unforgettable journey. In this blink, you'll discover four ways to harness peace of mind, a positive mental attitude, sharing your riches with the world, mean But first, check yourself. How often do you allow past unpleasantness to hold you back from living your best life? See, the thing is, it's easy to get stuck in negative thought patterns, but if we want to achieve peace of mind, we must learn to close the door to past hurts and take possession of our mental attitude. Learn this principle from American inventor and scientist Elmer R. Gates, who relied on the power of positivity to help him solve complex problems. He built a soundproof meditation room in his home, furnished with a table, chair, paper and pencils, where he focused on a specific problem he wished to solve. By shutting off all other thoughts from his conscious mind, especially the negative ones, he could wait for ideas to present themselves. And very often, the solutions he sought would present themselves in minutes. Gates' scientific discoveries were the forerunners of all the methods now used for robot guidance and radar. This example proves that sharing our blessings doesn't just help others, it can also prime us to achieve more success. Just look at Edward Choate, a successful life insurance salesman. During World War II, he spent 80% of his time helping the government sell war bonds and training his competitors to sell life insurance without compensation. Despite spending most of his time helping others, Choate's sales figures increased dramatically. He wrote over $3 million in life insurance policies in three months, more than the average agent sold in 10 years of hard work. By sharing his blessings with others, Choate became a creditor rather than a debtor, creating a network of friends and contacts that helped him build his business. The art of sharing our riches can apply to all areas of life. Whether volunteering at a local charity, mentoring someone in your field, or simply being kind and generous to those around you, sharing your riches can have a ripple effect on the world. With generosity in your bones, it's only a matter of time before good habits become your DNA. Cultivate your good habits garden. To maintain peace of mind, you need to grow and nurture four good habits, a broad-minded perspective, a positive mental disposition, active visualizations of favorable outcomes, and knowing your desires inside out. So, how do you develop these habits? Firstly, keeping a broad-minded perspective requires active avoidance of gossip and slander. It means recognizing that there are many ways to approach a situation or solve a problem and being willing to consider different perspectives without resorting to negative talk about others. By not talking smack about people, you become more empathetic and compassionate toward others and learn to appreciate differences. Everyone's unique. Ultimately, this approach helps you challenge your implicit biases, increase your curiosity about the world, and dodge any hooks for self-destructive behaviors that bring you no good. By actively avoiding gossip and slander, you're more likely to maintain a positive mental disposition, the next good habit for peace of mind. This way, it's easier to avoid dwelling on negative thoughts and beliefs, which we know disrupts mental peace. Remember PMA, your superpower? It can shield you from unnecessary downfalls and help you manifest positive outcomes in life, so use it to your advantage. Then, don't forget to supplement your positivity with integrity by acting on your promises of support for others. This step can look like anything, from sharing your business resources to encouraging someone out of a bad day. Now, to manifest those positive outcomes, you must first visualize them. Visualization is the bedrock of achievement, every attainable goal begins with an image of it already happening in your mind. With a mental landscape free from the plague of bad thoughts and ripe for positive ones, no great goal is impossible to achieve. Lastly, always keep your desires accounted for. 
You can't possibly manifest positive outcomes without knowing who you want to be or what you want to do in detail. You can't just wish your desires would become realities because there is a difference between wishes and desires. While a wish is the seed of a goal, a desire is all at once the germ that activates its growth, the fertile soil it must grow in, and both the sunlight and rain it needs to develop over time. A man who once worked at the R.G. Laterno Company's foundry department in Georgia was able to promote himself out of his undesirable job simply by changing the department's atmosphere. He encouraged his co-workers to look for something positive in their jobs and express gratitude in writing to management. This change in atmosphere caught on quickly, and the workers began to experience an overall sense of positivity. As a result, the department became one of the most profitable in the entire plant. The man was promoted to the top of the company, spreading his reputation throughout the community. He received offers from well-known companies, with wages he never thought possible. Notice how the man used the four good habits needed for peace of mind, in no particular order, to improve his life. He encouraged others to find things to appreciate about their jobs, no backbiting involved. This attitude shift created a positive atmosphere at work, leading to an increase in productivity and profitability. With a more positive mental disposition, the man became open to new opportunities and attracted offers from well-known companies, leading to greater financial success. By visualizing his goals and keeping tabs on his desires, he manifested his ambition into reality and was eventually offered capital to start his own successful business. His success proves that everyone has the potential to achieve their dreams with these good habits. Now that you know the four-part strategy for peace of mind, it's time to learn the power of putting people first, because people are the heart of a fulfilling life.